Welcome back, guys. Dust with the Custom Offices, Custom Office TV on the YouTube. Sam back with Biggs. Hello. We're back with another episode of This or That, by the way. So true. we got John behind the camera, actually, not Keaton. He's going to ask us some questions. We're going to answer them. Pretty simple. Yes. You want to do the plug? Wheels, tires, suspension, customoffsets.com. 2020 Cummins or a 2015 Super Duty? This is an easy one for me. So I'm waiting. I'm genuinely curious to see what you say. 2020. So brand new fifth gen Cummins or a 2015 Super Duty. So an aluminum. Oh, I'm going to go with a 2020 Cummins. Really? Yes, sir. You're a Ford boy. I am a Ford guy, but freaking fifth gen Cummins. Yeah. They're, they're insane. Listen, the answer is fifth gen Cummins to this one. And it's simple. So even like the fourth gen interior was not I, I'm gonna probably hurt some feelings here, but it wasn't super great. It was good, but it wasn't fantastic. No. You know, and then I was never a really big Mopar guy, but the fifth gen students shook the market up. They look yes. good. They're gorgeous. They look fantastic on 2414s. And you can stuff 35s in there almost factory. I agree with that. Um, not a huge fourth gen fan. I do like some fourth gens, fourth gens, but like the new- Fourth gens? Fourth fort gens. <laughs> for, is that like Fortnite? Fourth for, gens? <laughs> fourth gens. Um, but I like the new body style. If he would have said like a 2015, 2017 up F250 or F series, I guess, um, I probably would have picked that, but definitely the older ones didn't really scream my style in that body style, I guess, but the new fit gins are incredible. Give me that Cummins. Four door short box or a two door long box? Both of those are really solid. There's some beautiful, Regular cab yeah. long bed trucks out there, and there's also some really beautiful crew cab short bed trucks out there. I'm gonna have to pick the obvious winner here because I own one. Yep. It's a crew cab short box. Ooh, it just released. It did. Well, I mean, it, this goes up after. Ah, uh, you're right. So it's been released. It's been released. It's real. <laughs> I own an LVZ now. Yay. I was never a crew cab guy until I bought that truck, and man, yeah. It's fantastic. It is nice. I can't wait to road trip in that thing, dude. Right, yeah. Uh, actually, so I kind of been around a little bit of all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I own an extended cab, which is, I don't even know what you want to call that. Like you got your, it's a little longer of a bed, but you still got the room and it's technically four door in a way. Yeah. D-Max Rhinos, SEMA Denali or Dirty Max Jacks 2020 Denali. Dude, I can't pick one. You literally picked like two of my favorite truck YouTubers right here with two of my favorite truck builds. So like, I love what Ryan did with his truck. I think it looks super good. I love that Ryan's got the big work for it sticker because obviously he owns work for it or runs work for it apparel. Um, but man, I don't, ugh. I don't know if I can pick one. They're both so beautiful. I guess if I had to pick one, man, D-Max Rhino's truck is beautiful. I love, yeah. I love that build. And, uh, both of them are solid options, For to be sure. honest. They're very similar trucks. One's A little big. newer, right? Yeah, one's big. One's like that uh, stanced out, you know, diesel truck that I've come to really like. So um, I'd probably go with Dirty Max Jacks on this, actually. Really? Okay. All uh, right. Just because I've been getting down with the the low, lower, not really. The low lower, and wide. The low and wide, like, diesel trucks. Just yeah. For some reason, I've been really into that. But both builds are... <laughs> They're dope. They're yeah, fantastic. Incredible. Absolutely. Archon or Anthem Off-Road? Oof. Oh. Oof. You hit me right in the soft spot with this one. It's like, man, th they serve two different purposes. So yeah. Archon is, is directional, big, show wheels, you know, 24s, 26s, you know, true directional or proper directional wheels as they call them. Uh, endless lips or infinity lips if you want to call them that. They're just beautiful wheels. And on the other side of it, you have Anthem, who is down and dirty, off-road, rugged, dependable. Like, man, I don't, I gotta pick Anthem on this one. Ooh. If if for no other reason than I have equalizers on the Duramax and they look so good. That, I, I like where you're headed. I think I'm gonna go with Anthem as well. Whoa! Which is, I also have Anthems on my truck right okay. now. Okay, yep, yep. Um, I do like the Archons, I just, I feel like I'm seeing them too much and they're really hyped up here. They are one of our brands, so uh, for good reason. But um, I'm steering away from those. I do like most of them. But like Dustin said, the Anthems on my truck and on his truck, just they really do look good yeah. for the everyday daily driver truck. Yeah, they're fantastic wheels and, and they look great, so. Power Stroke 
or Duramax? I don't know, you man. Have one of, I, I've had one of each now. I've had I had a six liter. I had an uh, an 04, uh regular or extended cab short box um, Lariat, which was a beautiful truck for what yeah. I paid for it. I loved that truck, and now I own an 07 LBZ Classic. Um, so both of them are are awesome. Um, uh, boy, I don't. I think I would have to pick my LBZ over my six liter, and I loved my six liter. They're fantastic trucks, as long as you give them the attention they deserve, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I like both as well. I'm also a Ford guy. Everyone knows this by now, so I'm gonna have to go with the Power Stroke. Um, I really would like to build someday, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, an OBS 6.7. Um, Dude, that'd be fun. Uh, I think that'd be a cool build, uh, especially for around here. Not a lot of people are, you know, going old school. Um, Good luck finding a clean one yeah, in Wisconsin. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to travel <laughs> a little bit to find one. But then again, even further from my F-150, once that's built up, I would like to move into like a 2017 plus F-250 yeah, okay. or something like so that. So an Illuma Duty. Yeah. Illuma Duty. Yeah, words are hard. Yeah, correct. Stretch sidewall or flat sidewall? I kind of like a, a little bit of a, a stretch on a sidewall, especially if you're looking at a 24 and 26 yes. size, right? Like CO2, I think, and I'm pointing here because the truck is literally to my right here. I know you guys can't see it, but it looks really good. I think that that, that's a, uh, I believe a 13 and a half on a 14 wide. So you ju yeah. just a little bit of stretch, but it looks good. You have that, that little bit of shoulder roll off and I think it, it looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely um, application here. Uh, big show wheels, I'm going yeah. with stretched a little, like a little stretch, uh, definitely looks good. Uh, definitely show off that, the lip of the wheel or whatever. Correct. But uh, if you're, you know, Anthem boys, which I have on right now, definitely want that sidewall protection. But um, I think I'm leaning towards uh, something a little bigger. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the stretch for now, but in the future, I'd like to also like get into the off-road game. They both look good. Yeah, I mean, it, dep do. it depends on what your build is. Custom paint or powder coat? I like powder coat. I think um, powder coat can be a little bit difficult sometimes because you can get into multi-stage powders and stuff like that. And, and you can't, paint has the advantage that you can paint plastic parts, right? You can't powder coat a plastic part because right. it would melt. But I like powder. I think it's a little bit heavier duty than paint is oh, in some sure. applications, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, again, you really can't go wrong either way. I, I'm i not too familiar with, you know, like doing both. I haven't been around it enough. I think that, again, application, one, I feel like powder coat has a more of a texture. Mm -hmm. It so does, yep. So it's more of a textured finish, and then paint, you can kind of get that, like, gloss look to yeah. it. Um, so I think that it depends what you're doing, but um, power, powder coating for me has been looking really well. Hi, Josh from Trail Oh, we got one of those. We, we've had there. lots of lots of distractions this one. This is good. <laughs> All right, bonus question. What is your favorite fruit juice and why? Bro, if you answer anything but cran raspberry right now, I'm kicking you off my show. You're gonna have to kick me Get off the show. Get out of here. Go. Goodbye. Get apple out of here. Juice, Get out. Apple juice. Let's go. Dude, yeah. No. What is wrong with you? Cran raspberry all day, every day. That's the best. He's, he's out of here. That's another episode of this or that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have this or that questions, drop them down below.